Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. So today we are going to be taking a look at the Traxxas Pro Scale winch. Uh, we're going to take a look and see what you get in the box. Uh, we will get it fitted up to my TRX4 Defender and then we'll take the TRX4 out for a little crawl, test out the winch and see what it's like. So it comes in your nice uh, shiny Traxxas box and if you take a look and see what you get inside the box. So you get your little, you know, usual compliance card and then you get your instructions, which takes you through how to get it all fitted. Um, we'll be taking a look at those to get it fitted up to the front bumper. And then what you get in the box. So you get your fair lead, you get your winch, you get your um, controller. Uh, I believe it is a two channel controller as well, so you can control two separate winches with it. Uh, and then you get everything you need in there as well, like, you know, your screws, your pins, your wiring and everything like that. So let's take a little look and pull it all out and have a look and see what it's like. So if we just pop our little winch hook out of there. So you get your little controller. OK. So you can see you can select your channels up here and then you've got obviously your winch operation. OK, so that looks really nice. You get your fair lead in there as well. And then if we take a look at the actual winch, so really nice looking winch, uh, got a 10 pound uh, lifting capacity. Uh, and the connector, if you're connecting it to a TRX4 uh, model, um, you can connect this straight to the spare output on the ESC, okay? And then if we take a look and see what we've got in here, we'll pull all this out. And then we've got uh, our pins and our screws and uh, a little extension lead as well. So if you were running like a lights or an additional uh, winch or anything like that off the ESC lead, um, you know, you've got that uh, Y lead there as well in case you get some zip ties, some pins, things like that. Okay, so that's really cool. Yeah, it's a really nice looking winch. I think it's going to look really nice on the uh, on the front of the Defender. So we'll talk through some of the features once we've got it fitted up to the actual uh, Defender itself. Uh, but let's uh, let's get the Defender, let's get it on there, and uh, then we can see what it's like. Okay, we got the TRX4 on the bench. So let's uh, pop the shell off, pop the bumper off, and see if we can get this winch fitted. Okay, so you're going to remove your two screws from here, which are these screws there and then your bumper just slides right out okay and I've already popped it off but you've got your pretend winch which is just held on by one screw which just goes into this piece here which is just this one little screw that holds that on and then you want to thread your uh, hook and your washer, just turn your you know to tilt your washer sideways through your fair lead on the existing front bumper if you fing it to an existing front bumper. And then what you're gonna then need to do, and you've got these two little pins that need to go in the existing recesses. Hopefully you can see them there. Yeah. The existing recesses in the fair lead so that they can locate in the front of the winch. So we'll get that done now. Okay, so that's done. So we've put our, popped our pins in the little holes, pushed our winch on. Okay, so now we're ready to move on to the next step. And then the screw for screwing your actual winch into your stock bumper, instead of using reusing your original screw, you want to use the longer screw that comes in the little pack of screws. So the actual threaded one, like a, you know, so it'll thread into the plastic and it's a bit longer, so it'll bite into the existing plastic. So you're just going to screw that into there. Okay, so once you've got that screw in there to hold the winch on, uh, you can mount the bumper back on. Now the only downside, the instructions tell you that you actually need to just put it in the second hole here, whereas originally it was in the fourth hole here. So obviously that means you're going to be decreasing your approach angle. So obviously your bumper is going to be sticking out that much further. So, and plus, I just test it and I don't like the way it looks to be honest, it's sticking out, just looks a bit fugly. So I might either look at trimming the body around the winch uh, or I might possibly look at getting, you know, you can get different like winch bumpers, ones where the winch sits out slightly forward. So I might look at something like that. But anyway, on your stock bumper, second hole, just slide it in until you can see 
through here. So one, two. There we go. Okay. And then get your two grub screw jobbies. Put them back in that hole and on my big finger, that hole. Okay, so we'll screw those in a second. Okay, then you'll need to unscrew this screw here for your ESC that was holding the spare uh, ESC power wire in. Okay, so you just unscrew that one screw and you just lift it up, pop the power wire out, and then the power wire can reach over here to the winch connector. Okay, and then I've just run the winch wires just past the steering servo through here onto the other side. You can then hook them through this piece here to hold the wires in and then connect it over here. And then for the aerial, it says to like run it down behind this server and there's a little plastic thing you can screw it to down here. Okay, so power wires plugged in, hooked it through there. I'm gonna zip tie the aerial up and everything. Just one thing to bear in mind is your clearance to the shell here. So obviously these wires are here. You want them to be as close and as tucked down. You could run it underneath that if you wanted to, but I thought it would be a bit better just to tuck it in nice and snug, we'll zip tie it in there, and then I don't really want the wires hanging down underneath because I don't really want anything, you know, when we're trailing to grab the grab the wires and cut through them. So we'll just tuck them in as close as we can with there, zip tie them into the frame rail there, uh, pop another zip tie over here for the aerial, uh, and then we should be good to go. Okay, so yeah, bumper's installed. I've put a zip tie there just to hold the wires as snug into the winch as possible. Another zip tie, another zip tie there just to hold the wires in. And then I just put a little zip tie on the wires there, if we can focus, um, just to hold the aerial and everything there as well. And then we've got the power cable running across here. Okay, so we are gonna just bind the uh, winch controller to the winch and then we'll give it a test. Okay, once you've completed your um, installation of the winch, get your battery in, turn on your ESC, and then follow the instructions in the manual to bind your um, winch controller to the winch. And then, working winch, how cool is that? Sweet, so cool. So anyway, let's, uh, let's get it all put together. Let's take it out for a little crawl. Let's go test this winch out and uh, see what it can do. Okay, so you can see we're up against our first hurdle where we need our winch, so we're stuck on the roots. That overhanging bumper is causing a little bit more issues. It is getting hung up a bit, um, you know, especially when you're going up an incline. So we will see if we can attach the winch and see if we can get us pulled up out of this. Okay, so we've attached the winch to a root. Still going. Okay, we are pretty much up. Obviously, if we'd had a straight line winch, it probably would have been better. So let's see if we can find another spot to. Uh, to winch up on out of as well but you know it's, it's pretty good it's doing a pretty decent job um the only thing you do find is that you know it really pulls down on the bumper and obviously with this being the stock plastic bumper you can just see it just bending on the rails uh so i think uh like an aluminium bumper or something like that which much be much better I've actually So we haven't got much chance of crawling up there without just tipping over. Oh, oh. Okay, I think we've reached our limit. So let's jump over the other side, winching up, and see if we can get up there. Okay, we've got full extension on the winch this time, so we've hooked it around the route. That's going all the way down there. Okay, let's start to reel it in. 
and then see if we can get up there. This could be fun. Hopefully it'll stop us from tipping and it'll let us get up there. Oh. Take a look from the side. You can see how far we've come up. Nice. And we're out. Made it up. Another successful test. Well, that's definitely really good, you know, and then places there where you just wouldn't be able to get up out of there, you just have to pick it up. You know, it's really cool that you can just use the winch. Let's get it to reel in. You know, even something as small as that little root there, look, that's managed to hold the weight of the TRX4, pull it up the bank. You know, it's excellent. Right, we'll see if we can find something to pull, and then we'll see if we can find a deadlift, and then uh, I think that'll pretty much be the end of our tests. Okay, let's test out the uh, the deadlift. So it says it can deadlift, I think it's up to five kilograms if I remember correctly. So we're hooked around this branch or this tree. So let's see if it can actually deadlift it up. Go in. Oh, here we go, hang on. It's decided it wants to do it. Oh, we're almost off the ground. Going up. Doing it. Nice. <laughs> it's all the way to the top. Nice. Okay, so it can deadlift it. Okay. Okay, we got a log block in the way. Let's see if we can pull it out of the way. Okay, winch is attached. Let's pull it out of the way. Job done. One log pulled. Three we go. So I will end the uh, video there, guys. Uh, so overall, you know, it seems like a really decent winch. You know, it's got good pulling power and, you know, it's fun and it's getting me up out of places that, you know, I want to get up and out of. But the, uh, the only thing that does seem a bit flaky is the um, is the control um, or the sync between the actual controller and the winch. You know, I mean, you know, we're pressing the buttons and you know, like now it's working. You know, fine. But sometimes you'll do it and it just won't respond. You know, you'll press up and down. It won't do anything. You'll have to press channel a few times to get it to reconnect, and then it'll work. Whether that's just you know mine, I don't know. If, let me know if you've got the same winch and you've had the same problems with the Traxxas controller. Um, you know, maybe it's just me, I don't know, but, you know, I've only used this winch, well, it's my first time out with it today, um, and so I've only used it a few times, and, you know, I'm having issues with it connecting and, and working straight away, so, you know, not after the best start, you know, considering how much it is, I think I paid 90, 90 pounds or 94 pounds or something like that for the winch and the controller as a set, um, so, you know, it's a fair bit of money you're spending, um, so you'd like to think with it being, you know, that expensive Anatraxxus uh, kit that, you know, these two would work together. But anyway, let me know if you've got the same winch and what you think of it, or if you've got any other winches and what you think of those. I'm going to try and pick up some of the cheaper winches. There's a, there's a slightly cheaper worn winch, which I think does only do like three and a half kilograms. 
and then obviously you can get some of the cheap eBay winches. So I'm going to pick up a couple of those, stick them on my other rigs, and then perhaps we can do a comparison then between the Traxxas winch and the um, other winches, especially some of the cheaper winches you can get on eBay and Amazon. We'll see how they compare, see what they're like, and then uh, you know we'll see if the Traxxas winch is worth the money or not. But so far I'd say I like it, I'm happy with it. Uh, just a bit annoying with these. Uh, with a controller not always working with the uh, with the winch. Would I buy it again? I'm not sure, to be honest. I, I can only answer that after I've tried some of the other winches. But anyway, thanks very much for watching the video. Uh, don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Drop me a comment if you've got any questions. Let me know if you've got any experience with any winches on your RCs and you know what they're like, uh, especially if you've got a Traxxas Pro Scale winch as well, like this one. And uh, thanks very much for watching and we'll see you on the next one.